What's up everybody, John here at Metal Aviation and I wanna do a quick follow up to the Spectrum You've Been Canceled video because in that video I went on a bunch of rants, got sidetracked all over the place and one of the things I ranted about was safe and stabilization. And I'm kind of getting my balls busted on that, so I'm gonna set the story straight, so let's get into it right now. So, safe and stabilization, I am not a hater. I do not hate the fact that safe and stabilization exist. I don't care if people use safe and stabilization. And as a matter of fact, I think safe has its place and I think safe and stabilization are beneficial to the hobby. That being said, I don't wanna use them. I don't want, I'm, I'm done. And I don't want to be forced to use them on products that I buy. So I don't want to get sidetracked into that, but it's just something that I don't need at all, right? I don't need safe. I, don't, I can fly without safe. I don't need stabilization. I can adjust my plane in the air as needed whilst I'm flying. And I don't want any of that. And, and that's just one more layer, right? One more thing that can go wrong that I don't have control over. If I'm going to crash, I want it to be my fault, right? I want to pile it in and say, woohoo, I crashed that one. Look at me. I'm awesome, right? So for me, I don't want to use that stuff. want nothing to do with it. I'm done. And I'm going to move on from all of that, um, all those products and that technology. But I think it's beneficial for people to use. There are people that cannot fly without safe. They have issues maybe with their vision. They have issues maybe with arthritis. They have slow reaction time. You're getting a little bit older. Um, a, some type of disability that doesn't allow you to use your normal motor functions to fly the plane like it needs to fly and safe can help you out there you know safe is very good for that and it's good to learn how to fly too but i think the emphasis on safe using safe to learn how to fly is where the problem is because if you don't have any um issues uh, with vision or anything like that, if you are just 100% good to go in that regard, you should learn how to fly the old fashioned way, right? Get someone on a trainer box, fly, help you out. Now I know that isn't always the case um, where you'd have someone available to do that. And SAFE can help you do that if you if you follow uh, you know, the correct steps to do it. If you purchase a plane and you fly in safe and you never take it out of safe and you fly around and then, then you get used to it. You're like, oh, this is how you fly a plane, which it isn't. Safe is doing a lot of things for you um, that, that help out. You shouldn't rely on that unless you have to. And that's where we're having problems. And mostly it's at AMA clubs. I don't know why. When I go fly at the parks, anywhere that's not AMA where people just show up and fly, everybody's flying without safe, right? I see it mostly at the AMA clubs. I mean, maybe I fly more AMA than I do the other stuff and it's just, you know, percentages. But the problem is Joe Schmo goes out and buys, um, you know, uh, a, 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 a turbo timber and flies it in safe and he's flying all around and taking off and landing. Oh, landing's easy. <laughs> I'm flying around and then I, I want to get a jet. I'm advanced now. And then he goes and buys a Viper, which I'm using the Viper because I've seen, we see a lot of those crash at the club for some reason. I think just because it's a popular plane. But he goes out and buys a Viper and piles it in because even though it's in safe, the thing's moving so fast, reaction time, you, you just need to know how to fly to fly an advanced plane. And safe isn't knowing how to fly. So that's my problem with safe. That's where I'm a hater with safe is when people are purchasing a plane getting into the hobby and they're flying and safe and then they want to move on and fly advanced stuff and they can't because they're hindered by all the bad habits they learned with safe so if you learn how to fly correctly with safe to where you use safe get out of safe and and, and slowly wean off it and use it to to save you before you crash that's the same as is a buddy box right that's all buddy box is the dude flips the button and then the guy who flies takes over and gets you back up in the air and all that good stuff right that's really all that, that safe is doing the problem is people are using safe like a permanent buddy box guy right and there and it's just it's it's just not it's not beneficial for someone who wants to advance and fly you know these bigger planes or more advanced planes like they see somebody flying at the club and that's the big problem with safe and that's where i do hate safe and i think we need to kind of get out of that habit of just telling people just fly with safe and and you're good to go anyway I, i'm gonna end it there because I think I kind of proved my point. I'm I, I'm not a hater. Safe is good. Stabilization is good. Um, for for people who want to use it for whatever reason, I don't go ahead and use it. I don't care. I'm just not going to use it because I don't need it, and I feel it is a hindrance to me enjoying the hobby 
hobby to where somebody else, it may enhance them enjoying the hobby. So that's just where I stand. I'm very, very curious because this is a hot topic when we bring it up. Man, people get salty at the club when you start talking about say, bad about safe, especially like the guys that are using it, right? Because it's like they take it personal. And I can see why maybe you would, but I mean, I don't, I try not to be hardcore about it at the club and, you know, like, really, like, yeah, you suck, you're unsafe. That's not where I'm coming from, you know. I just think you get bad habits and it's going to hinder you from being able to advance and fly those awesome planes. Anyhow, I digress. Um, comment on this. I am so curious to what other people think on this subject. And um, that's going to do it for this video. Hollywood out.